All right. I promised one Smith, but we have two Smiths here. We have uh, Stuart Smith and his brother Samuel, and uh, and Hunter. If you can see Hunter, no. <laughs> so Hunter, come this way. That's our dog. Come then. Come here. He's got to play that thing, bud. Come here, Hunter. I think he just likes it more now. Come on. Come on. There you go. That's All right, man. All right. Take it away. songs here and um, start and this is a song from um, came out in 
man of faith in Petersburg. Um, and I am not, but I can still drink their beer. Uh, so you can find it now. Uh, you can go two different places to find it, but it's so worth it. So kind of makes me feel for a minute like nothing's changed. And I'm still playing music and drinking Hand of Fate Juicy, brought to you by Hand of Fate, your brewing company, Dr. Uggs. And, uh, anyway, Jessica, if you're watching, love you. I also love your beer. I'm gonna do a John Prine song. Uh, here, John's one of my favorite songwriters ever.
Jesus got my doubts and I've got There's nothing you can say to me to more than what I am. It's a pleading hope in a passing lamps and a safe place to stand. He said, I ain't tired of well. I'm doing you say that I ain't broken heart. songs and um, I'm actually I'm a, I'm a big fan of Levi's work and his songwriting and I thought it was a Towns Van Zandt song um, which if you don't know who Towns Van Zandt is um, it's about the highest compliment you can play, pay to a songwriter uh, it's a town song and so yeah I'm uh, not exactly sure I was going to do this but I'm going to do a Towns Van Zandt song here he's one of my favorite songwriters ever
So I'm going to play a couple of the songs um, from that. This um, I co-wrote with um, the guy that's producing the album, William Fitzsimmons, and also my brother Samuel. This is his first co-write on the song. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play this one for you. It's called Sunflower. say really quick before I begin that sorry false start um, the uh, this song like we were I'm gonna give Samuel credit here because he didn't have a mic so he can't brag on himself but we we're like stuck on one line of the song uh, William and I were and anyway Samuel just sitting there quietly says what about this he throws him like that's it that's the song and uh, so anyway um, it, it was one that was kind of on death watch for the album and then uh, threw it out and we finished it. So anyway, good job Sam. Everybody, this is my brother Samuel Smith over here being shy. He is also uh, the dog's favorite person in this room right yeah. now. <laughs> As you can see, yeah. you're at the right level for petting. <laughs> Oh. 
Message me today um, and asked if I'd play this one, so I'm gonna do it. Come from a place for the people, the holy star. Talk about God, the down in the beginning. Ellen Camp was born in a small town. I never knew so much about it. Guess everyone's from somewhere and everyone's tried. felt so good to play music again. Uh, and like, how withdrawals have been. Yeah. My kids have had to listen to me play this whole time. And, um, so it's it feels really good to do this again. Thank you all. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching this. Um, we're going to do a song by Bruce Springsteen here. Slowly put a rifle in my hands 
Send me off to a foreign land Call and kill a yellow name And I was born in the USA Born in the USA Born in the USA I was born in the USA Come back home to love in a really long time. I'm going to play a song I actually just wrote this morning. Um, I One of the things that's been kind of weird about this whole thing is as a parent, um, kind of trying to understand what your kids are thinking and feeling and, um, and kind of dealing with that and uh, simultaneously telling them everything will be okay, but uh, also like, uh, don't go putting your mouth on playground equipment anymore. And so I uh, kind of was thinking about that this morning, um, watching them play and uh, talk. Man, you have a fan for life, Sam. Must have beef uh, jerky in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> what did you bring here today? It's just the way I stink. <laughs> Need more of that soap, you think? Yeah. <laughs> What's that fancy soap you use? What is it? Dr. Squatch. Dr. Squatch. Yeah. He, is the scent of an alpha male to all canines. Um, <laughs> I should have all that. That one's free, Dr. Squash. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's free. Uh, but if you're so inclined, Dr. Squash, there is Venmo. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> PayPal. LR concerts. Pay, PayPal, yeah. And I have it on good authority that Levi Tucker also uses. Do I don't know if Levi Tucker uses Dr. Squatch. I, can, I shouldn't say that, but. <laughs> anyway, the song. Anyway, the song I wrote about my kids. Uh, I, I'm going to play for you here. I, um, I said just wrote this song. This song this morning. Oh 
and a PayPal set up for the musicians playing tonight and for all these uh, living room concerts. Uh, these guys have gigs that they've missed out on and uh, that they're missing out on these next few weeks. Uh, so that's why we're doing this and that's why we set it up also to bring entertainment to your home too. So uh, the virtual tip jars are out there. Uh, feel free to donate. Uh, the links can be found on the uh, on this page. On the Facebook page, but it, on Venmo it is LR Concerts, or you can go to PayPal.me, PayPal.me/LR Concerts. So, there we go. So much to All right. Also, next week, just want to tell you about that. Next week, uh, next Thursday, we're going to have Robert Sampson and Isaiah Christian here in the living room, uh, and then Saturday we will have the Peter Sellers with uh, Peter Scott and I. It'll be like a, like a reunion of that we haven't played together in a long time and then uh then the portable beat will be uh finishing out the concert series for march anyway who knows what april will bring for everybody uh hopefully it'll bring some open venues so hope so yeah. and open juice shops yeah <laughs> and open yoga studios yeah, exactly. and, uh, yeah. right it's hard to sell juice on uh you know virtually virtually yeah it's virtual juice imagine for a moment um I do a song by the Dire Straits here. A love struck Romeo, sing streets of serenade, laying everybody low. Hey, it's Romeo, nearly gave me a heart attack. It's only 
the window She's saying, hey, I'm the orphan's dad Should've come around here singing up to people like that Anyway, what you gonna do about it? Juliet, the dice was loaded from the start
a son. So you run out of beef jerky with the dog just hanging. <laughs> I feel like this the relationship is kind of fickle. If the jerky's gone, he's gone. Yeah. yeah. That happens more often than you think, Stuart. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to retune because uh, I was like, oh, can I make that? No, no, I can't make it on that. Being in the middle of a song and having a retune is a really terrible feeling. It's like you're going down the interstate and you miss your turn and you have to wait for the legal U turn. It's the worst feeling in the world. You just have to gut it out. I mean, you. Actually, I remember other people's songs better than I do my own songs. Um, I, actually, I, this is the first time I've uh, really talked about this. Uh, April 11th, I'm going to release a single. It's a cover of um, a song by the Smashing Pumpkins. And um, it'll be on Spotify and iTunes and all that. And when we decided to do the album, William and I decided to um, get together and do a single. And um, so he's playing and singing on it too. And just got to figure out if we liked working with each other and if. We had any chemistry there, and Sam is also on that. Uh, it's a guilty party to it. But anyway, April 11th will be out, but I'm going to play it for you guys for the first time here. You're going to play it today. Yeah, I'm going to play it right now. In our living room. In your living room at this very moment. Uh, and uh, everybody watching, I guess. And my hand of faith, Petersburg, Illinois. I don't know the zip code, but. <laughs> that that, that would have been better if I had the song. Oh, yeah. That, that's where I was going with it. Oh. Yeah, too much confidence. I don't mean to disarm you. 
Too much coffee for you. Uh, <laughs> you got it. There you go. um, That's what I was trying to do. So elaborate. Yeah, this was this is a multi-layered <laughs> joke for die-hard Smashing Pumpkins fans only, which apparently I'm not. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. <laughs> album I did this uh, Kickstarter to help get it released and everything and um, this is one of the, my favorite parts of the whole process other than actually making the music and um, Corey and Kate Garner did one of the uh, levels on Kickstarter and 
uh, one of them was asking me to uh, write a song for them. And so if they, you know, like backed it at this level, I was going to write a song for them. And I'm going to embarrass Corey because he asked for it. Oh, sorry, bud. And uh, anyway, I said, well, what do you want me to write a song about? He said, well, I'd like for you to um, write a song about Kate and I. And um, I said, okay, do you want to send me some, um, some ideas? And so I thought maybe you'd like to send me one or two things. If you don't know Corey Garner, he sent me a novel. And uh, it was actually amazing. It, it like came like over the course of an entire night. And um, and so after kind of reading their story, and um, really, honestly, Corey wrote the song. I just took different parts of what he said, and uh, it kind of wrote itself. And it was really cool. And then last uh, last winter, had a music video done for it, um, and also put it down on the EP, and then did like a, a full version of it as well. And so. Um, Anyway, he asked me to do this song for him, and so hi, Corey and Kate, and um, I'm going to do this one to close it out. I want to thank Jeff and Erica, everybody, for watching. This has been so great to get to play music. I'm used to doing this all the time, and so anyway, uh, not being able to do that is kind of weird for me, um, so this has been, been really, really great tonight, so thank you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. And Erica, and... Uh, be sure and tune in next week. And also, the much anticipated Peter Sellers reunion. Yeah. People are excited about that. How long has it been since you guys played together? Oh, gosh. Who knows? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Peter's watching. He probably knows. It's probably, gosh, at least five years. Yeah. Yeah. Not longer. Yeah. Yeah. So, everybody, tune in for that one. And, uh,. Of spark in a beautiful light. The moon hangs low in a sapphire night to illuminate the kindness you wear on your face. You see, age, you see beautiful grace. As we both found, we weren't looking for. And I could spend my whole life searching. I ain't searching no more, I ain't searching no more Battle on the locks on my heart, throw in a key Darkness feels like daylight, you're close to me And I'm the one who feel for you
you all and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you again. Jeff, Erica, you guys are such a gift to musicians in this town, in this area, so thank you. Aw, thanks guys. That was Stuart and Samuel Smith, everybody. We'll see you next Thursday.